Okay, Kevin, we're here today, the 20th of April, in a crop of Bennington. You can see the plant is really stretched. Like it's a week ago since we applied the K2. Um, we, as advised, we applied it at the full rate of 1.8 mm. liters a hectare. I know it's a strong rate, but um, I just wanted to to make sure that we held on to tillers we had and want to encourage more tillers. And then also there's a lot of leafy growth there. I'm happy to say it's it's, it's doing the job. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this year with, with wheat, now wheat doesn't need to be thick to get the maximum yield, but because of the stresses it was under, that's why we went with the K2 to just hold down the main stem and let the little tiller strengthen up. It's moved remarkably in the last five or six days since we got the heat, because God knows we've moisture, fertilizer is there, so the crop is, we may not have tropical growing conditions in Ireland, but we're getting mm, close to it. Very close to we're it. just here now, coming to probably very nearly 31, Next week, I'd say by the middle of the week, we'll be at our T1 fungicide. At that stage, we'll hit it again with a litre of Cycacel 0.2 Amodus. Same as last year, but I'd be expecting we're going to have a lot of bounce back growth again this year because there's such pent up growth waiting to go and you've the history of applying organic manure to the ground. We may have to increase our rate of turple this year. Too early to call, but it's just something to think of in advance that we might need more of it. Last year, Kevin, liquid fertiliser became a very big part of your program for nutrients. You were happy with it, we're continuing again this year? Yeah, I was very happy with how it worked last year. You know, clearly it's a learning curve. So I'm uh, very happy to say that we're using um, more of it this year. And um, so I've just been in this field yesterday actually with it, so very happy. Okay, and any problems using it at all? Yeah, hey, nothing to date. I mean, it's just about being, you know, careful with your machinery and that as regards cleanliness. But uh, application is very, very straightforward. Perfect, yeah. perfect. So I suppose John, like just looking at the crops there, and like last night there was a frost, mm -hmm. you know, and like it's weather is blue skies here today, but last night it was it was very cold with that frost. Like what about the stress in the, in the crops now and the crop canopy there? Stress is something that it it happens in nature. It has a significant impact on how crops perform. Wheat being um, source limited, meaning as we understand, wheat if you get the weather will stay filling. You've always hoped for the end of the season. Barley is suffering a lot more at the moment because being sink limited, if we don't have the sufficient number of tillers created earlier, we won't get the yield. But we've used uplift here already once this year at the three litres with the K2. That's a product that helps the plant maximise the potential of its internal nitrogen cycle and there's a, a degree of nutrition in it as well. We'll probably hit it a second shot, but I don't see us hopefully using any of that later. All the focus will be to get the, the crop out of stress early. And what management has been done here today, fertilizer-wise? Yeah, so basically, sure. Once it was sown in the autumn, that was it. There was no autumn herbicide. It was too wet. You know, there was no time to come in. Weather didn't suit. So January was wet all along. So really, we're going to hit it now with the herbicide uh, today. Actually, yeah. We'll repeat last year's T1, which will be two liters of Triorus again, and we'll use Varian again. Now the Bennington we're in has the same rating for mildew as the JB Diego, which is across the road. But interestingly, it's not showing any signs of mildew yet. Now, nor is the Diego, because it's more backward. But we've changed our T0 from Fielder, which was Talius Bravo, just to Bravo. Saves a small few euro, we weren't seeing the need for the Talius but we'll have Talius with Folicure, with Prochloras in the Varian, so that's why I'll persist with it this year, specific to this variety choice as well. As I said, we'll, we'll still run with two litres of Chiores. We'll wait and see what we'll do with the T2, there may not be any change. So for the moment, we're a little bit running behind because of weather, but other than changing the T0, plan is much the same as last year.